Hello, I'm Stu with Productive Computing demonstrating the G Manipulator plugin, the easiest way to take control of Google Mail, Contacts, Calendar, and Tasks with your FileMaker solution. This video shows how G Manipulator can be used to push and pull information with Google Tasks. It is assumed that the plugin is installed, registered, and authenticated. If you aren't sure about these, refer to those videos here. I have the free demo file in Google side by side. Google Tasks are found on the bottom. There are currently three tasks in Google and none in FileMaker. With just one click of the Pull Tasks button, all three tasks are now in FileMaker almost instantly. You can see all the details are the same for both tasks in both places. FileMaker has the Google Task ID, so now when you make any changes to the task in FileMaker, you can simply click the Push Task to update Google. You even have the option to push the Found Set or the Current Record. We will choose the Current Record this time and get a confirmation of success. When we refresh the Google account, we see that the task has been updated. Now let's see an example of pushing from FileMaker to Google. We can create a new task in FileMaker by clicking the New Task button, adding the due date, title, and some notes. When we click the Push Task button, we again have a choice of pushing the found set or just the current record. We will choose the current record. Get the confirmation screen. In this instance, we only had to wait 15 seconds for Google to auto refresh and see it has been pushed correctly. Now let's see an example of pushing a found set from FileMaker to Google. With our current list of tasks, we will eliminate the day off because we want that and we'll set the rest of them to tomorrow. Then when we hit push task and choose found set, we get our confirmation and we can go refresh Google. And we look at our tasks and they have all been set correctly. Let's see how it works with Google Task Categories. Google uses list names for categories. These are shown in the My Tasks folder in FileMaker. Let's create a new list in Google and add a task to that list. And even though that category is not in the task folder yet, G Manipulator will automatically refresh that list if we hit the Authenticate button. But since it is unlocked, you can actually go into the script workspace and see that under the Tasks section, there is a script to get task folders. If we run that script and we come back to our Tasks module, you can see the really, really important folder is there. And if we click Pull Tasks, there are the tasks that we created. If we change one of the other tasks to be in the category, such as our day off, and we want to move to the really, really important one, and we come back and pull our tasks again, now we have our really, really important tasks. And Google does not have to be open for this to work. We'll add a new task and push the task, get the success message. The next time we open Google, we will see our tasks showing up right as we expected. This means all of your information is available and accurate on any device that accesses your Google information. This is just a small sample of the possibilities. 
The fully unlocked demo includes the complete developer's guide and function list so you can dive in as deep as you like. Check out the other videos on how the G Manipulator plugin works seamlessly with the other aspects of Google Accounts or click the buy now to start saving time and money with G Manipulator. If you want more detailed training, head to Productive Computing University to learn as much as possible, as fast as possible, to decrease the learning curve and really save time and money and make the most of this amazing plugin.